My name is Father Eugene Roy, and I'm the pastor of St. Anne's Parish in Tecumseh, Ontario, which is neighbor to the most southern city of Canada, Windsor, Ontario, which is located directly across the big city of Detroit in the United States of, of America in the state of Michigan. My impressions of in preparation for the centenary of the apparitions was indeed a, a, a very, I would say, privileged moment because uh, as I heard of this beautiful blessing by the Holy Father, Pope Francis, um, and being here as her first visit to our nation at St. Anne's is indeed a moment of great joy, but it's also a recognition of, uh, of how humbled we are that uh, Our Lady uh, was able to uh, be present among us uh, for this very important milestone in praying for peace and most of all her maternal care for us as her children. Her presence here this evening was felt by all, of course, the, the one who will always bring us back and lead us into the true paths of her son's love for the world. It just warmed our hearts and warmed my heart to be able to say we have a little part of Pope Francis in our midst and through him access to the beautiful expression and maternal love of Our Lady of Fatima. And invoke our Heavenly Father to continue to shower blessings of joy, blessings of this faithful journey through this beautiful community of the Alliance of the Sacred Heart and Immaculate Heart of Mary and continue to invoke most of all the blessings of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Loving God, give us Mary as our mother, a model, and a queen. Let our love for her bring us closer to you. We ask to through Christ our Lord, who is with love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the That's your heart being one with the heart of Jesus. Because for the 15 minutes that you just received our Lord, His body and blood flows in your heart, in your veins. And as St. Paul tells us, which sounds pretty crazy, but it's true, we become like gods. So I tell you, cherish this moment. These 15 minutes, let us imitate the three seers during 1916 when the angel of Portugal appeared to them and suspended in the air the sacred Eucharist. He was an angel, but yet he went in front and prostrated himself. So I encourage you all, after communion, kneel in humility and take that moment to pray to our Lord. consecrate the world in Russia to her Immaculate Heart in 1984. And, of course, just a few years later, we saw the complete fall of communism and, and the wall came down because of the faithfulness to what Our Lady had asked. Now, of course, our world is still in crisis, and so it's very important that we continue to invoke Our Lady of Fatima in our own devotion. <laughs> So that's why we're happy to have this whole day which is dedicated to